Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're doing the one year review of the Bounden Zone Mr. Black Trim Restorer. Now we did a six month update and it was looking pretty damn good. Now Bowden's recommend that this will last about a year before you need to do another coating um, and touch things up. Now uh, on the first video we did just about, I think it's about 13 months ago, so just over a year, uh, we did the video on the rear bar. Now the guards were faded just like the rear bumper and if you guys remember that, have a look now, it came up a treat. It was I don't know why, but Jeeps, guards, the plastic on the Jeeps, they just fade, they look bad. But we live in Australia, directly under the beating hot sun, um, even in winter now. It's still, it's harsh conditions, um, being a four wheel driver gets money, dirty, stuff like that. Um, and really deteriorates the plastics on your four wheel drive. Um, now, now the six month review, everything was looking so good. So comment below how you guys think the one year review is going. They did recommend that it will start fading a little bit over the year. Um, didn't fade at all after six months, so that's awesome, unlike other products on the market. Now, I've seen I've never used Bowden's ones, it's the first trim restore I've used. So let's let, have a look and see how the one year of use holding up. Now as you guys can see, it's faded just a little bit, especially on these top edges. I don't know if the, how well the camera's picking up. Um, but on these other edges here, where the sun's not directly hitting it, um, it, is, it hasn't faded, that's stayed nice and rich. It's just on these top leading edges, a few patches. Now as I said in the six months video, um, I wish I had gone with the, as you get like the little flash prep bottle inside the packet you can get. I wish I had gone with the uh, bigger bottle so I don't have to use it so sparingly. I can actually cover the whole surface um, and not have to use that tiny little bottle they give you. It's good they give you that because it creates a whole kit, um, but I recommend getting the entire flash prep bottle, a bigger bottle, um, that way you can properly prep those surfaces. So that's the first guard. The next guard, um, the front guards, it's sort of the same. It started to just fade a little bit on that top edge. Definitely not um, as bad, even on those parts that are fading off a little bit, it's definitely not as bad as what it was a year ago when we first put it on. But the majority of the guard is staying nice and black. Um, obviously we can't judge the rear bumper because uh, we're taking off uh, for the Jurassic Jeep build. Uh, but it is fading just a little bit um, on the top sections of those guards, which isn't too bad. It's definitely a, a, still a lot better than what it was a year ago when we first did it. Um, um, and as you said, that um, I, as it Bowden said that after a year they will start fading a little bit. And I've still got probably 80% of the bottle left. I need to get some more flash prep um, and then we'll go over it again um, and just do some more touch up things. So it's not like redoing the entire guard again. Now on the other side, same again. Just started to fade just a little bit on the top edges. Now mind you, I haven't touched these up. I haven't done anything to them over the last year. Just left them out in the sun. And the last guard again is just fading in one or two small spots. Now I'm not sure if that's just because how the sun's been hitting it or I have just haven't been too heavy handed on prepping the surface at all when I first did it. I'm not sure what it is or it's just that it's coming to its life um, after the year. But all up pretty damn impressive it. As I said just small patches along the top of the fender. These bottom sections where the sun doesn't really get to across these sides isn't really faded too much. Uh, down the bottom um, it's mostly just the top edge where as I said that sun really kind of sits on it. But that's pretty much it. Super press with Bowden Zone for I think it's $85 from Super Cheap Auto for the the Mr. Black uh, box, the black box. 85 bucks. The cars look so good. Um, as I said I will need to go back over them just to a few touch of things. It's not like a full drop again um, and I'll be buying the bigger bottle of the frat, the flash prep. God I stuffed that up. Um, I'll get in the bigger bottle of the flash prep um, and also what we did as well with the Bowden Zone Mr. Black is we did the roof. Now the roof has started to fade just a little bit, not too bad, it's still looking nice and black. Um, but as I said when I did that it's actually not made for roof, it's like a uh, fiberglass hard top, it's got some other stuff in it as well, it's not all fiberglass. But the Bowden Zone Mr. Black is actually just made for plastic trims and stuff like that. So really impressed with them. Um, it's lasted very well over the year, no fading, well a little bit of fading but other than that it's not bad at all. So if you guys want to pick up your own Bounden Zone Mr. Black, get your trims back to what they should be, 
for some reason, Jeep fenders, Jeep plastic, just fades so bad. Here's a couple photos of what mine looked like before, and other people's, it gets really bad. That dull, yucky colour. Um, grey colour, it looks awful. But that's pretty much it for today guys. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for the Bounden Zone Mr. Black Box if you guys want to pick that up. Highly recommended, definitely worth the money. Um, um, just makes your Jeep look a lot cleaner, a lot neater, um, a lot newer as well, even though, just do it guys. Trust me, it looks good. Um, a year, um, I haven't tried any other products on the market, but people recommend they last a couple months, if that. Um, so Bounden Zone lasting a year. It's definitely a lot better. So that's pretty much it for today guys. If you liked this video, smash the like button as always. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.